Hey everybody, what's going on? Buddy Blackford here with another Photoshop CS6 tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to be going over how to use the navigation system that is built in one of the panels of Photoshop CS6. And it's going to be like moving around and zooming around into your uh, panel in like pretty much like a quick way. So let's uh, get started. Now make sure you just have anything loaded, make sure it's, I don't know, like a picture or anything that you have, and load that up. Now what we're going to do is come over to this uh, panel right here where it says Navigator, and it's um, one of those, I can't remember what it's called right now, it just fell off the tip of my tongue. Um, one of those things that sailors and stuff back in the day used to use, the wheel looking thing. Ah oh, man, I wish I remembered the name. Oh well. So uh, click on that and then you get this uh, panel called Navigator. And that's basically used to just like move around in the scene pretty much. Now we can zoom in and move around. So click on this little slider here and then you can use that to zoom in or zoom out quickly if you want. You can also click on these like mountain buttons and it will zoom in and zoom out appropriately so on the right side is zoom in on the left side is zoom out and then you can also type in however much you want now the lowest that you can go is 0.39 percent let's put that in so like super i don't know why you would want to do that but maybe if you have something that's like really really big and then 3200 is 3200 which yeah, that's the highest that you can go so you can see basically every single pixel which is pretty cool now I'm gonna go back to 100 and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom in a little bit and if you look there's this red box around um, the uh, actual picture here if I zoom in you can see that the red box gets smaller now I can come in and click on it and drag that around to get to an area that I want to work on and uh, this is pretty handy if you need to get to an area to work on. Now if your navigator menu isn't showing over here, it's gone for some reason, you can just come up to window and then click on navigator right here and it'll show up. And it'll pop out for you and it'll be cool. And there's uh, another cool thing that you can do with the navigator. If you hold down control or the um, option key no control if you hold down control and drag in the uh, navigator you'll get the uh, magnifying glass looking thing and if you let go of it it'll basically make it'll zoom in to however big you made this um, area here so if I make it large it's going to zoom in less if I make it really small, it's going to zoom in a lot. So that's uh, pretty helpful if you need to just like zoom in on like just your face and you don't want to do all that crap of like trying to figure out what exact measurements it's got to be or whatever. So this uh, view box here defaults as red, but if you're like colorblind to like red or something like that, or you hate the color red really, really badly then you can change the color of the view box so if you come over here to the panel options right here and click on it click on panel options we can change the color of the view box if we wanted to so now my view box is magenta pretty cool I guess and there's one last cool thing that I want to show you so this thumbnail is pretty small and might be a little hard for you to navigate or actually see what's going on. So if you come down to the corner here and drag out, oop, make sure it's the double arrow there, and drag it out, your thumbnail will get bigger and therefore your navigator uh, thumbnail will be easier to navigate. But it also gets in the way of what you're working on. So that's up to you how big you want to make it. So it's not just a fixed small thumbnail. I like to keep mine about this size and it's not too much in the way but if it ever does I'll just you can just close it by clicking on these double arrows here and it'll go back away you just open it by clicking on that or you can click on this again and it'll close it so it's pretty easy 
So uh, that's uh, all about using the navigator, and it's helpful what to ha just have up to quickly work with other brushes so you don't gotta move around. And if you like only using your mouse, using the navigator is cool so you don't have to use so many hotkeys. Like you don't have to switch to the hand key, so or the uh, zoom key here. And I, or as tool, I mean. And I'll show you these uh, uh, tools in another tutorial because they basically do the same thing that the navigator does. I'll just show you how. So I'll see you guys in the next tutorial where we start talking about stuff like that. See you guys later. Have a good one. Thanks for watching.